getting you right here is literally the hardest thing I've done all year. And it's 2020, baby. Look at that crisp line. She's crispy. not looking as good as I was like 30 minutes ago. 30 minutes ago I had full glam and then I watched Ryan Tran, Trey Han, and Haley Fam's engagement videos. You best believe that I sobbed through that crap. Never felt more single in my night life really, but my knife. <laughs> this is really all I've got to work with right now. Paper from my notebooks and then cardboard from Domino Deliveries. Anyways, this video is inspired by a couple people that I've been watching in quarantine. I just want everybody to know that I know her name is Anha and I said Anya for whatever reason. She's one of my favorite creators and I watch her pretty much every day because she's so talented. I don't know why I got her name wrong. It's just a character flaw of mine, I guess. I guess my big brain wasn't turned on for that moment. Anya did it. She's one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen in my entire life. And she deserves the world and has the most beautiful, voluptuous blue eyes I've ever done seen. Joanna, Sadia, Sadia? Joanna. She's a great quail mother, deserves mom of the year. That's all I have to say. What if my quails got the coronavirus? And also, Robbie. Um, I'll put Robbie here. Just listen. Just listen to Cave Town if you haven't. It is the sweetest crap I don't ever heard. He has the voice of an angel. And then that's it. That's all. That's the only people I've been watching do about Ross. I'm doing the Misty Foothill season 30 episode six. It's on Bob Ross's channel. But really, let's be honest, this is not going to be a challenge for me. No, really, it's probably going to be really bad and I'm going to have to cry about it later. And again, when I edit this and watch myself, you know, relive it. So <laughs> let's get started. I know you're supposed to cover your canvas with white first, but that's literally all I have. <laughs> and it's old paint, so it's kind of clear. Bumpsy, McBumpsy. And also, I only have water paint, and I know he's like using acrylic. So. <gasps> Ew. Uh, not to be the partiest pooper in all the land, but it's pretty gross looking. From where I'm at, gross. This is not it. I want everyone to know how disappointed I am and how mad I am because I'm mad. This is the worst day of my life. I really I don't know where my tape is. I'm in a crisis. I'm in a crisis. Where's my I took it down. I know myself. I know I took it down. So I went out and got tape, but I also brought some other fun things. I found more cheap paint that's not watercolor. So will it work with watercolor? Probably not. I have not noticed. I don't know. Also some Breros. I think I got these for my last birthday and then I was too embarrassed to have anybody wear them because my boyfriend was there, but guess who's single now? Ow. 
Do we dig it? Or do we want a different color? <gasps> There's a blue one. We're changing it. Sorry. <laughs> what? What's that? <laughs> That's it. Period. I think we're just gonna start with normal paint because the white was not working. Hi, welcome back. Certainly glad you Let's start out and have run all the colors across the screen that you need to paint along with us. Tried that, that didn't work. Take a little blue to start with, a little two inch brush. That looks like dark blue. Okay. I'm using a unicorn plate. Don't judge me. A little color right into the bristles. And we'll go right up in here. And let's just begin dancing in just a happy little sky. Oh, I forgot about the actual paper. We're ready. The blue is um, mixing with it and automatically it'll blend together. Oh. If this was a dry canvas, whew, it'd be difficult to do this. But since it's wet, How does he do that with his hand? Also, I, think I think it'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. This is probably one of the freest forms of painting that I've ever seen. I love being free, Bob. As we do. And it'll sort of disturb your eye. Oh, Bob's well, moving too fast. Here we go. I'm moving too fast. Step three on the dash. Such a little gap, so I'm going to leave a little gap. Right? Yeah, there's a little gap. Can you... He wants me to make it darker with black, but honestly, I don't think we need that. Not feeling risky today. I'll tell you that right now. See, but that's not a lot, Bob. Just a little. Just a little tiny bit. And maybe, maybe, maybe right in here. Bob. Um, Just a it's getting really dark. Bob, this is not what I want. This is not what I planned. And I just gotta say, I do not understand. But notice mainly one corner. It's got a lot of pages. I just remembered I don't have any lot. This is not going as I wanted, and I feel like giving up, honestly, but I'm not going to. Before anybody comes for me, I know this is my fault. There's no reason to come for a girl who knows that this is her fault. I should have waited till I got more paint to do this. I feel like his clouds are more voluptuous. I'm just letting Bob go where he wants. Just to make a mountain, unless you're trying to paint a particular mountain. I just covered up something that was like okay and made it like not okay anymore. Well, no. Well, <laughs> this is the ugliest thing I done ever did. It looks like boot. I meant butt, but okay, whatever. I'm not hating that. For some odd reason, the ugliness is just... When I tell you this is the most disgusting thing I've ever done, I really mean it. I really mean that this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. What is that? It's okay. It's okay. But I'm so mad. I am so mad. I should be more positive. I should be more positive. There's no need to be negative. Oh God. I tried to make your voluptuous clouds. This one looks okay. Would 
you live there? Would you live there? King? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You would think that my big, juicy, voluptuous, soft brain would be able to realize that I shouldn't have done that. So, if this video ever sees the light of day, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to my sombrero. I'm sorry for the viewers. I'm sorry to Bob Ross. Because this, it doesn't describe me. It doesn't make me feel happy. Maybe I'll redo this another day with actual paint and supplies. But this is really not my peak. And it's not who I am as a person. Don't give up on your dreams, because we're going to try this again. Maybe we'll try it like James did on my forehead, because I'm original. And my voluptuous art talents will come out. And the world, the world will be shook. But not today. And that's okay. Hopefully this video gets released and I don't not post it because of my insecurities. See you next time, people.